This time on Backroads, we're hiking Victoria's spectacular Great Southwest Walk. A hidden gem tucked away near the South Australian border. The 250 kilometre trail loops its way from the town of Portland to the fishing village of Nelson and back again. It is our little secret. We've been so lucky to have this little special part of the world to ourselves. They call it nature's symphony in four movements, crashing from dramatic high notes to a gentle marching rhythm. It's beautiful and it's wild and you know, you're breathing in you know, the earth and the sea. You can, you can taste it and feel it. It's a chance to explore nature, to find solitude and harmony. And to steal old Daryl Kerrigan's quote, you know, how's the serenity? <laughs> For some, it's a deeply personal quest. I've joined up with three mates from Melbourne, heading into the fishing village of Nelson. So how did you guys meet? Well, we're all school teachers and we all worked in the same place in a school in southeastern Melbourne. Yeah. Back in 2012, Sorry. friends Luke Mills, Michael Sorry. Dillon and yeah. Stephen Murphy were captivated by a that? movie about the Camino well, de Santiago I in Spain and dreamed of doing the 35-day pilgrimage that honours the way of St James. We had kids at school at the time and um, we thought, well, this is never going to happen. We're never going to get to, uh, never get to Spain to, you know, any time soon. So we, we came up with this idea of honouring our own saint, <laughs> which because... Um, Mary McKillop. Mary McKillop. We've only got one. Yeah. <laughs> and we thought that In the 19th century, Australian nun Mary McKillop and her religious order pioneered rural schools for the poor and looked after the disadvantaged. Oh, it's so nice to take the pack off. Mary McKillop was declared a saint by the Catholic Church in 2010. Her early journey, as far as her teaching life and her public life sort of thing, was in the Western Districts of Victoria, which was in Portland. And then her first school that she ran on her own as, uh, was in Panola. So we thought, well, let's just do something that connects those two places from Portland in Victoria to Panola in South Australia. About the route Luke kilometers. came up with follows the Great Southwest Walk along the coast to Nelson, then branches out across the border to Panola. So, Luke, what was the trigger in your life that led you to this? Well, four years earlier, my wife had passed away um, after a short uh, battle with leukaemia. And I was obviously very, very upset at the time and I had three kids that needed looking after. There were a lot of lonely nights there and um, the, the kids would just come to me and say, Dad, I miss Mum. And yeah, and all I could say is, yeah, and I do too. And then we had this chance discussion uh, we, about the Camino, and for the first time I really thought, oh, this is something I could do. It gave me a great sense of confidence and purpose. Luke set up a meeting with people who'd shown interest in doing the 160 kilometre walk. Luke had mapped out this uh, itinerary, so to speak, and there was a couple of 35 and 40k days on it, and the looks on people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the meeting ended, and I went up to Luke and Steve, and I said, fellas, I said there'd be no more than three. <laughs> there, was about, there, was about 20, there was about 20 at the meeting. Yeah. The three friends set out on the inaugural Mary McKillop pilgrimage in 2014. So what happened then after you did the first one? I got the bug. And then I went and did the Camino de Santiago. Kicked Kakoda with a mate, went to Kilimanjaro, climbed that, 
I went to Everest Base Camp, went over the Himalayan mountains. It all started here. It all started here. And, you know, at that, at that stage of my life, I'd just come off an ugly divorce and things were tough and um, I had made a mess of myself. Um, and I'd been drinking too much. I wasn't the best version of myself. So it was a good rain check for me. It's made me a better person for sure. Made me rethink about how I conduct myself, what sort of person I want to be. You know, I don't want to be remembered as being a grumpy old man. Well, Lisa, this is where we leave you. We'll After having to drag his two friends along in the beginning, yeah. Luke has now led more than 200 pilgrims Juan Camino. <laughs> along what's become known as the Aussie Camino.